Could this be a scout killer? Let's talk about it. Roll that intro. I am Anonymous Biker USA. Could it be a scout killer? What am I talking about? My take on the all new prototype custom 1250 from Harley Davidson from an Indian scout owner's perspective. Now we all know on July 13th Harley will introduce this new platform in the sporty segment. And we know that Harley killed the Sportster line in the UK due to the emissions regulations that have been brought upon them and it wasn't worth investing the money to upgrade that platform. So, the Pan America 1250 Revolution Max engine will now be put into this custom 1250 Harley Davidson. Awesome idea. Let's talk about it. So, the Scout is a 60 degree V-twin motor. So is the Revolution 1250 Max. So this new custom 1250 by Harley is a direct competitor with the Scout platform, the Bobber, as well as the Triumph Bobber. And depending on the tune of the engine, not quite apples to apples, but it could be coming a little bit at the Ducati X Diablo. Now that's got 160 horsepower. Preliminary figures for this new custom 1250, thinking somewhere around 120 horsepower, 100 foot pound of torque, which will be more than the Scout for sure. So, depending on how they tune it, if they do a little more aggressively, they may try to approach, approach those Ducati numbers most likely not but the differentiator there will be the price you know the Ducati you're gonna be upwards to 17 18 thousand maybe a little more the Scout the Triumph Bobber and hopefully this new Harley Davidson custom 1250 will be in the 12 to 15 range and if it's priced that way it will definitely be a strong strong competitor against this bike for sure I think it's a tremendous idea from Harley Davidson and a great attempt to get a foothold in that mid-size cruiser market. So if we take a look at the bike, you see no more steel frame cradle. The engine or the motor is an actual stressed member and the frame is bolted to the motor which will allow it to be more slender and sleek, which will allow it to be lighter. More power, more torque, lighter bike. I don't have to tell you what that means. Smiles all around for everybody. Harley is giving the customers what they've been asking for for years. So this new slogan, as they're calling it, from evolution to revolution, may be a home run. Preliminary reports to Pan America, brand new release out of their comfort zone seems to be like a home run whoa ambulance watch out oh didn't see me at all didn't see me at all that would have been interesting Indian Scout crashes into an ambulance well, at least they would have been a quick response time right so from evolution to revolution, we all know the Evo motor, awesome motor, stood the test of time. But with a liquid cooled 60 degree V twin, you can tell by the heads of the motor, it's, it's, a, it's not totally square, it's larger at the top, which usually indicates a higher revving motor, just like the Scout is. The Scout is probably one of the higher revving cruisers that's been brought to market in a long time. So this is going to rival that which it'll get some lower grunty lower end torque but it'll get a high rev high rev range so it'll be super peppy uh, and that's that's why it's going to be liquid cooled because when the engine and the motor 
is revving at that high range you need you need effective cooling which liquid cooling is much more effective than air cooling so the engine has some pretty cool bronze touches which dresses it up I hope they keep those it has a fat bob-esque style with a little bit of flat tracker with the high exhaust and the flat seat I hope they keep that aggressive styling and that square beefy headlight kind of like the Pan America the Fat Bob which I think looks really good at LED early indicators show Brembo brakes huge upgrade from Harley single disc in the front not sure maybe double hard to tell from the spy shots and the suspension whoa there's a big deer in the road you guys see that now where there's one there's always another that is a bike killer all clear all righty some nature maybe that's an indicator for Harley the new bikes gonna run like a deer quick and fast so this bike will be a high revving you know this scout loves the four to six thousand rev range I, I fully suspect this new Harley to be the same way which will be awesome and they reapplied for the Nightster name which was discontinued so will this be called the Nightster when it's actually released also show some Pirelli tires that are going to be on there which is a huge upgrade they're very sticky uh, usually Harley goes into a relationship with the tire company and they manufacture the tire specific for what Harley has for so I've had whoa that horse got scared from my exhaust look at him run <laughs> little skittish horse there so the Pirelli tire should be sticky which indicates that bikes gonna be a fun sporty cornering machine which imagine that a Harley that's got a lot of power and torque that you can stick in the corners and drive like a sport bike how awesome is that just like the Scout you guys know I've said it this Scout handles so well it's so well balanced super reliable and super nimble I can whip it around on all these back roads and you know coming from a sport bike Triumph Daytona 650 getting into this it's a super similar feel for a cruiser it's amazing so I think that 1250 you're gonna you're gonna be going after the same feeling suspension the bobber and the scout two or three inches of travel respectively uh, I don't expect great great uh, suspension on these bikes and it's not really what you're buying them get a crew get a bagger if you're looking for that however it appears that Harley may be putting Showa suspension on this bike which would be a huge upgrade from their normal stock suspension which often leaves much to be desired so if they come out with this bike and it has Showa suspension Brembo brakes and it keeps those bronze components with that high exhaust and a flat tracker seat look this bike is going to be another home run right behind the Pan America now I say home run about the Pan America I talked to some hardcore ADV riders and their big thing about the Harley and uh, Pan America let's stop right here for a second so, a lot of the uh, hardcore ADV guys the big thing about the Pan America and it, you know it will find out in the test of time Can you work on that bike out in the field like you can with a lot of the other ADV bikes because that'll be critical to continue your journey So I call it a home run in terms of innovation and I've ridden that bike you can check that video out here on this card if you like and I've ridden the GS 1250 the Tiger I think it's right there with them, but like I said with the ADV guys will stand the test of time but back to the quote Nightster or the Harley Davidson custom 1250 and its attempt to dethrone the Scout in the mid-sized market if we're looking at 120 horsepower 100 foot-pound of torque roughly we're looking at Brembo brakes show a suspension and one thing you'll notice on the Scout now this does not have a TFT screen I put an aftermarket GPS the Indian Chief which it's a little bit of a, a run at that but not so much more so the Scout but the Indian Chief has the 4-inch ride command TFT 
the Triumph Trident, the Rocket, they all have a TFT 4 inch cluster just like this right here. That is a huge upgrade because if I had that I wouldn't need this GPS. And it appears on this new 1250 that Harley also has a round instrument cluster that will have Bluetooth, GPS, and a host of other displays uh, that the Rocket, the Trident, and the Bobber have. So if they can do that, they are right in line with the rest of those offerings. Oh, the new custom 1250 from Harley Davidson. I mean, let's. I love the logo, the sleekness of the tank, the design, the slam stance. But we're looking at a powerful, slender light machine. And if it comes in, which I suspect right around scout numbers, five to six hundred pounds, we got a big competitor in the market. The key is the price. Price it right, Harley, and you got a winner. And the fuel tank, I mean, the scout's a 3.3 gallon tank. Uh, we all know the Sporties have a smaller tank. If they can get, boy, if they put a four gallon tank on that thing, that would be amazing. But even if it's three to somewhere in the three to four range, that, that's acceptable. I mean, you're not riding those for long hauls anyway, and they're going to be fun. So the way you ride that bike, you're probably going to get, I don't know, 80 to 100 miles on a tank anyway. Especially with all the aftermarket available. Imagine what people are going to be able to do with this bike with that Harley aftermarket. And then all the tunes and all the engine work that they could do. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm sure somebody will find a way. They'll get that engine up to the Pan American numbers with 150 horse and 145 torque on that custom 1250. Oh my god, that would be ridiculous. Um... Would I buy it? If I didn't have a Scout, I would strongly look at it. Uh, definitely want to ride it, definitely want to try it, and I definitely support the Endeavor from Evolution to Revolution because I think it's awesome. So what's your take on this new concept of Evolution to Revolution and taking the Revolution 1250 Max and putting it in different platforms? I think it's an awesome idea. I wish Harley-Davidson all the success in the world with it because it will make them better. And it's good everybody's pushing everyone else because it's causing these innovations to happen. I really want to see the ability with their, with their quote, ride command or their TFT screen, what all it's going to have. You know, will it have Bluetooth? Will it have GPS? What kind of display will it show with a tag? Will it be digital? Will, will it be like a digital old school analog look? Not quite sure. Man, this road's got a lot of potholes. But, July 13th with the announcement, and hopefully it'll be a good one, we shall find out. So, from an Indian Scout owner's perspective, I'm excited. You know, it'll keep pushing Indian as well. And, you know, they come out with that new Indian Chief, which is an awesome machine, especially the Dark Horse with the 116. The 4-inch ride command, like I said, and... All the counts, people that have ridden it, Brandon Picasso, Ricky Not So Martin, they love that bike, so, and I, I value their opinions, so I think that's a home run, and I think this Harley Davidson Custom 1250, possibly known as the Nightster, could be a winner too. It's going to have a very aggressive seating position, you know, forward controls, a little bit of drag style bar, which people can change those, which you know they will. I'm sure this this bike's going to be fully customizable like all harleys are with all that aftermarket support so let's see when they start rolling in and hit the showroom floor but please 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 price it right and you can win so i ask you what's your take will this new bike kill this scout or the scout line with the bobber i don't think it'll kill it but i think it'll definitely give it a run for the money and I think some people who are looking at the Scout and the Bobber will now look at this custom 1250 from Harley. And it may steal some of the market share. So we shall see. I'm still super happy with this bike. I think it's one of the best bikes out. And it's one of the best peppy mid-range revving cruisers you can get. Especially for the money.
and look at it. I got everything done to it. I am Anonymous Biker USA.